Meanwhile, searches continue in Greece today for a British man who disappeared while taking part in a cross-country run. John Lawton, who's a grandfather of five, hasn't been seen for 11 days now. His family are leading the hunt for him, but say they desperately need help from the British government. Marathon enthusiast John and his wife Linda travelled to Kalamata in western Greece for a 30-kilometre cross-country race on Easter Sunday. The fit and healthy 62-year-old had been training for months and set off on the morning of the race with no troubles. John was last seen at checkpoint four. He never made it to the next checkpoint, five miles away. Since then, John's wife Linda, son Steve, local authorities and volunteers have been frantically searching the mountains for any signs of what may have happened. Well, joining us now on the sofa is Rachel Lawton, John's daughter-in-law, and his local MP, Fiona Bruce. Welcome to both of you. Um, my goodness, what can you make of what's happened? We just, as a family, we just don't know what's happened. And, you know, that's what we're trying to get an answer on, really. I suppose one of the first thoughts that might have crossed your yeah. mind is, is that he may have collapsed or yeah. something. Was he in good health? Have you yeah, any reason to think that? He's such a fit man. He's 62 years old. He's done the Snowdonia Marathon three times. He's trained for this race for the best part of a year. He retired last year, used his time to really get, it, get in shape and be fit for this race. So he's, there's, there's no aspect that he wasn't prepared for the race. What, what do you know of, of the course itself? Mm. Is it, is it well-defined? What kind of terrain is it? Yeah, he, it's very rough running? terrain. Okay. And Steve, my husband's out there, and he said that the, the terrain is very rocky, there's steep drops, there's a lot of undergrowth, thorns, bracken, are there um, slightly different uh, routes that they can take also yeah, during there are, the run? Yeah, there are. Steve's retraced the route, actually. Oh, right. And he's looked at where his dad may have gone on different paths. Mm. And obviously the search teams have done that, but not uncovered anything at the moment. It's an extraordinary yeah. mystery, isn't it? And yeah. a terrible one at that. How did you get involved? Yeah. I was asked by friends of the family to get involved. And I decided to raise the issue in the House of Commons uh, this week. Because what Steve and Linda... Uh, John's wife wanted was the best possible support from the Greek authorities. Mm. Uh, and so, did you not feel they're getting that then? I think initially they felt that there was superb support from local volunteers mm. uh, and some support from the local authorities. But what we needed was the, at the highest level, um, the police in Greece, uh, to really get on board and send the resources, send the um, effective help, like a helicopter, uh, that they need to really be able to search this rough terrain. But it seems like a no-brainer. You need bodies on the ground. Mm. Why can't that just happen naturally in this situation? I, I just don't get it. Well, absolutely. But that's why I'm very pleased that uh, once I was able to raise it with the Foreign Office Ministers in the House, they immediately got on to not only our ambassador, but I understand also Greek ministers are now involved. So Steve and Linda can be reassured now that this has reached uh, the Greek authorities at the highest level. Uh, and we're really hoping now that there will be extra resources deployed. And the other thing that they wanted was they wanted a consular official from the embassy with them on the ground okay. and that's now happening too someone's traveling to be with Linda today well that's good and the foreign office have said they're going to try and do as much as possible I do hope you find him safe and well yeah. soon so do we. Uh, it must be awful for you it's been 11 days now and we're absolutely desperate to find out yeah. what's happened to him yeah I bet you are mm. no, very very awful I send our best wishes to, mm. to, the, to the rest of the family and thank you best of luck in this search thank you very much thank for coming you. in thanks